Well, today on Nation, we're going to be talking about how to be seen online, and we're going to be talking about, uh, did you miss your opportunity with the huge convention? But either way, stay tuned. Hopefully you pick something up, but stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's going on, everybody? Jersey here from WCR, windowcleaner.com, and of course, you are here. What is up? Have a look around. Hopefully you like it. We're well over 100 episodes now. It comes out every single Friday. So if you're new, watch Binge on everything and let me know what you think. If you are one of the nation, one of the elites, somebody who watches everything, thumbs up on all the YouTube videos, of course, comments, reviews, but more importantly, you buy your supplies through me at windowcleaner.com. What's going on? It's because of you that I get name brand bomb pops. That was the last one that I got. But uh, thanks, guys. Truly, a lot of you uh, go shopping all day, night, whatever. Put it all in your cart. Shoot me a text. Say, hey, what's up? I'd like to put this order in. I get credit for it. You are awesome. And it's like a virtual high five. So please do that. If you want to have me as your rep, my number is 862-312-2026. Please go and do that. Save that number. I do truly want to be your rep. But a couple quick shout outs for today. I want to say what's up to Andrew McConnell, Chase Ziegler, of course, the man himself, and Ken uh, Codier. That I butchered your name. I'm sorry, Ken. Uh, but what's going on, guys? Uh, just some of the cool kids there, uh, some of the elite themselves. But I digress. Today, we're going to be talking to the man, Mr. Justin Monk. A lot of you know him. You see him post everywhere. If you don't know his story, it's absolutely phenomenal. One of the smartest guys I've ever met in my life. Super, super cool dude. What's going on, Justin? Hey, Josh. How are you, buddy? I am awesome. How about you? Good. I'm going to be walking around. We're down here at our new, our new digs office warehouse, and uh, I'm just walking around outside trying to get all moved in. And so, nice. sorry about the moving. I'm, I don't think I've ever done this. Uh, this video moving around so if i move around yeah. too much or the sounds too much let me know no worries sounds good so people don't know um and they haven't been watching progress videos uh you are building a new facility for your companies and it's absolutely epic you're having everybody under one roof this thing is just we've seen it from like pour the foundation all the way through you've been doing a lot of posts and stuff it's absolutely awesome to kind of see this thing work its way through for you it's probably been a little uh, more trying than it is for us just to watch the pictures though it's been a long time coming it's only been three or four months but yeah we've had uh it's amazing how they uh we went from blown down framework over the winter to uh where it is now we, we're, we're moving in man we gotta we'll be we'll be completely in all the employees will be in here within the next two weeks and yeah it's nice. awesome nice Alrighty. well for anybody who doesn't know, like, hey, how'd you get here? You know, uh, who is this guy? Why does he have a building? Like, tell us a little bit about you. You're an industry, like, legend. You've been in it for years. You're an OG. Kind of tell us how you got in, how you do everything that you do. Tell us who you are. Sure. So, yeah, so the name of my company, we're out of, uh, out of a little town called, a uh, little city called Spokane, Washington. Um, you know, I started the Windows 16 years ago, and I started – I didn't, you know, we didn't have the same thing a lot of the new guys have now. We didn't have a forum to go on. We didn't have uh, any of the Facebook groups. Uh, we pretty much, you know, my deal was just door to door with cards. And, uh, you know, I did that. I did, I did things the wrong way for the first two or three years. Uh, pretty much marketed, uh, you know, kept, keep keeping it small, uh, you know, one, one employee for 10 years. And ironically, you know, we have the convention coming up. Uh, I think by the time everybody sees this, we'll probably be done with the convention. But if you haven't been to a convention, uh, NOLA of 2012 is what changed everything for us. Really? Uh, you know, I, I, at, at the time when I went to that convention, we only had one one employee. I had one employee, and I, I thought I was cool staying at home playing online poker in my boxers. <laughs> and, employee, and scheduling one employee went out. I, I honestly thought I was the man back then. But, man, I, I, just, I saw – after, after coming back from that, that networking event, uh, New Orleans in 2012, uh, it, it changed everything. The connections that, 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 that I made, you know, I was watching these younger guys just take, take their business and go to a completely different level past where I had, 
would it take me 10 years? And what I realized was, uh, you know, the networking, the networking was everything. It's, it's responsible for, if I hadn't gone to that, that NOLA in 2012, really, I don't think I'd be standing next to this new building. I want to have my marketing. I mean, it opened up the doors for everything. So wow. uh, again, by the time anybody hears this, it's going to be, the convention is going to be post, but uh, wh whatever you do, sign up for the ne for the next year, uh, wherever you guys are having it, sign up now uh, that, you know, that, that changed everything for me. So yeah. now if you, fa if you fast forward, you know, I, we have a, a, a company called the pain in the glass, but we do window cleaning, fresh washing gutters, all the normal stuff that, this service does um we have 11 11 to 12 employees now and uh yeah it's all uh really really i couldn't have done it without the networking that i found inside the little window cleaning community yeah that's crazy i, I like that uh you acknowledge that because a lot of guys when they do these shows they go to these shows and and all of a sudden everything starts just turning around for them they don't quite understand that that's a huge part of it like the little bits of it the like explanations, the, the networking, the just little things you learn, the little things you can pit, pull off other people. Like you said, you think that you're alone until you see all these other contractors and it just absolutely blows you away. Right. Right. And, and you know, I, I don't care. And I don't care what the, anybody says, you know, five, you can be the smartest guy in the room, but when you, you take five average smart guys, I'm probably one of the average smart, right? You take five of them and put them up against that genius and it's game over. Uh, yeah, it's just it's just amazing how much uh, how much our our industry's changed. All the networking and uh, the the tools available now for for guys that you know for us there weren't there you know they weren't available. When did when did WCR start? You know I, I remember Chris Lambertini's. I remember him. I was in this other group, not WCR, but uh, some other group. I, I don't remember the guy's name, but but I remember seeing this guy named Chris come on and. He came on with this strip washer. He was showing that he said, I'm going to start selling window cleaning supplies. And I was like, who's this, who's this yeah. joker, right? Who's this <laughs> yeah. guy? And uh, then, man, you look at that. It feels like that was like 2008. You know what year they, Chris, actually started? It was 2008, yeah. Yeah, 2008. Yeah. yeah. Now, like, look at him now. He's, he's done well. Yeah, well, there's, it's like you're saying, for anybody who started before the forums took off and the Facebook groups, there was Gary Maurer's email group. That was like, it. Wow. So there was one picnic every year and it was in Wisconsin and uh, it was little, you know, it was great because it was, you actually got to talk to real people, but that was it. And now it's just the industry now where people don't necessarily uh, uh, appreciate it. It's so much easier for guys if they do, if they hustle, if they actually go and learn, if they go to events like this, if they, if they actually take it on themselves to be better, they can do it so much faster than we could 10 years ago. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Now you're going to be at the show. So when this is coming out here, it's going to be the Friday of the show. You're already going to be there at the show, shaking hands and doing your thing. Yes, sir. Nice. Yes. Yeah. You're even bringing gotta, people. Go ahead. I was going to say, you're even bringing people to the show. You got your own booth as a vendor. You're still going there kind of as a uh, owner operator kind of on the window cleaning side of things too. Uh, tell us kind of a little bit about, you know, when you do something like that, where you're both sides, are you, what are you looking for when you, when you talk to people? Well, uh, you know, Josh, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> this is brand new. Uh, yeah. you know, we're, 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 we're obviously coming with the marketing, but I'm bringing my operations manager, uh, Edward, he'll be there to, to mingle and learn the window cleaning. I'm going to be mixed, man. I got, I'm going to be, in a bunch of different places you know i got the window cleaning we got the, the marketing we got the conquer group there's going to be a lot it's going to be a busy two days it's, it almost yeah. feels like it's not going to be enough time but yeah we got a booth set up we'll be bringing five of our uh marketing team and uh all crammed into our little 10 by 10 booth uh we'll change that next the next the next convention you'll see a big change with that but, yeah uh, yeah it's going to be uh you know, honestly, this is kind of new to new to us. So, uh, I mean, what we do, uh, we dominate the internet. Um, so that's not going to be new. I'm going to just be talking to a lot of a lot of people that need that help. And not not only that, but we have a lot of current clients. You know, there's going to be probably 40 or 50 of our current clients that wow. are going to be there 
and so yeah we need two more days dude can you get that uh, <laughs> yeah well make that happen around? it's it goes so fast especially when you're uh you know you're awake and talking for 18 hours of each day it goes so right. stinking fast but yeah right. so let's let's talk a little bit about being seen how do you how do you because you're on both sides, right? So uh, you have the company that can do the SEO, absolutely the best company in the industry for that. I've never, ever been blown away by a company like I have, uh, like you and uh, companies that you've kind of uh, taken over. It's just absolutely mind blowing. But what you do is you take a website, no matter how great it is, but that website could be the Ferrari. But like you said before we started, if you have a really nice car and you leave it in the garage, no one sees it. It's the same thing with websites. You have to get that to be seen. You have to have people to actually see this awesome website you have. Right, exactly, Josh. So, yeah, so, you know, going back to when I first started, uh, after the, the NOLA event, um, I watched these younger guys like Larry Kersall. There was a guy named Michael Mole. Well, you're from Michael, right? Yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. I've heard of him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I watched these younger guys just pass my company that you know i've been in business over a decade and it was all a, a lot of that was the internet uh the common denominator that i kept seeing was the internet so i came home i had a, a website built and uh, i knew nothing about the internet really and it had been around for plenty of time but uh i had the website built and then you know a year later i go back to the guy and say you know listen uh, it's a cool looking website but nothing's happening i'm not getting any calls he said, well, you need optimization. You need SEO. Yeah. I didn't know what SEO. I was like, what's SEO? And so he explained it. And I ended up, uh, of course, there's everybody and their brother's an SEO guru. So oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he wanted to do it for me. I said, I'll find somebody local. And I hired a guy, paid like 900 a month for nine months. And he didn't get me past the third page. Um, that's when I, when I realized that I needed to dig down. And, you know, after practicing it two to three years, uh, I got pretty good at it. But kind of sidetrack off your question uh yeah if you know if you have a website it doesn't matter what the website looks like you got to get in, you got to get it in front of people and so that's that's where we come in we uh we have over over 80 um window cleaning pressure washing clients that we've done this for and currently doing it for and uh yeah yeah you 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 got to optimize your website yeah it's crazy the difference between like you said the problem is, is that everybody, we even get phone calls from people like, hey, would you like to be on the first page of Google? Everybody, you know, that's what everybody sells on. And the problem is, is that they all tell you it takes a bunch of time and you won't see any results until later. So start paying them monthly now. And then you pay them, like you said, nine months worth and you don't get any results. Nothing happens. And you're going, oh, well, by the time you realize it didn't make sense, you're already, you're already out of the money basically exactly exactly and you know it's and it's hard to tell even myself uh, as an expert in that that field now i consider myself the one of the experts um you don't know who's who you know you do get the call and that makes my job a lot harder yeah but we haven't but we have an advantage so what, it, what it, whether you hire a company like mine or you hire someone else in the industry or out of the industry there's one, I'm going to give you one tip that you can, that you can do to, to, to know if they're any good or not is uh, a Google search, find out what city they live in. Uh, anybody who wants to be good at SEO that claims to be good at SEO. Okay. Every, every, every one of those will want to rank in their own area. So you find out what area, uh, if they're in Tallahassee, you do a search for ta best SEO in Tallahassee. And if that company doesn't come up, uh, it, it, you should be, yeah, it should, yeah. it should turn on a little light. If they can't rank you, how are they going to, how are they going to, if they can't rank themselves, how are they going to rank you, right? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah. Well, uh, that's exactly the, the part of it is, is that uh, it's, a, it's a scary thing. And a lot of people, they build their websites themselves, uh, especially in our industry. Maybe they don't put the money towards it. It's changing because, again, 10 years ago, people were like, websites, ah, I got a page. You know, it was an angel fire page or whatever and it was you know flashing uh myspace gifts and whatever gifs or whatever they're called that's what pages were but now that's how people know who you are they see you it's a it's an ad that people can go look at when they're actually interested they're on your site when they're interested but if they don't find your site when they search window cleaner because they don't know who you are and you don't pop up it's completely useless 
It's exactly. The, the best place to hide a body is on the second page of Google. Right? That's what they say. Yes. The best place to, yep. Best place to hide a body. I told that joke in a B&I uh, group, <laughs> uh, group one time, and I didn't get any laughs. They just looked at me like I was, I was that guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's why uh, we do uh, these recordings. I don't get a laugh anyway, so I just assume it's all funny. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. That's a good one, Josh. Well, let's go through kind of uh, as you're walking. I know you are going to be walking through your new facility. I really want to see it. And I kind of want to see people to understand the kind of company that you are in general, which I know this isn't necessarily about you, but your story and where you came from, what you did, you were the guy who you, you, you knew everything for 10 years before you knew anything. Like you just, you were that guy in your brain. Like you said, you're like, man, I'm doing it, you know? But there was no other or new kind of learning. There was you're, you're, you're the quintessential guy in our industry that a lot of us know who just, once you decided to like take that further learning and take that kind of, okay, I do need SEO. Okay, I do need to be seen. I do need to learn. I need to continually learn. You've never stopped from that. And your company has jumped up 10 times what it was in you know the 10 years that it was kind of almost stagnant. I mean, that's that's kind of... That's like the, the Cinderella story in our industry, really. Thanks, man. Thanks. Appreciate that, Josh. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, you know, it wasn't, nothing's easy. Everything, uh, everything worthwhile uh, take, takes time to get there. So it's definitely, yeah. it's definitely t- taking time. Um, with the marketing part of it, you know, I, I didn't have any training. There's no place to go to school. And to be able to mix it together, yeah. It, again, all of this I give credit to, starting that little window cleaning company, you know, 16 years ago. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll give you a tour. Hey, how do I, uh, this zoom, how do I, uh, do you know, what, do you know if I can reverse the screen? Uh, I don't know on the recording software that we, we have now, you might just have to flip the phone so we can see, I'll but just flip it. All right. Yeah. Okay. So check it out. So our lot that we're on, we have enough room for, literally 30, 30, 30 parking spaces. So yeah, I'm going to nice. throw, it, throw it off here. A building. Nice. And then, uh, we got this huge, they haven't, you can see the, the gate hasn't been put in. They still got a little bit of work left here, but yeah, man, all these parking spaces. Wow. Yeah. And park over in the back here. Here's our backups. We went all white this year. So we got the black, the little black Kia still does route work. The Ford, the, the Tacoma, will be there when we need them, but uh, still growing. So, where else? Check out these doors. Can you see this door, Josh? Yeah. Yeah, huge ass door, 16 feet wide, wow. 14 feet high. You drive anything in. So, excuse the mess. We're still. We just started moving in uh, late last week, and uh, that's quite a bit. So left, left to unpack. This is nice. Edward, operations manager. <laughs> He's a rock, a rock star. You'll see him at, at the convention. Nice. Yep. Here's Edward's office, office one. If I'm moving too fast, let me know. No, no. We've got so, a John, in this John home- Brolk set up, truck set up. Thanks, John. Nice. As you're walking through this, you know, when you're talking uh, of, about having a company, I notice that everything you have is logoed. They all run uniform. You, you kind of have, you know, uh, your branding is on point. Do you think that branding is as important with the company itself as kind of the SEO side of things and being seen and just being remembered? Boy, that'd be awful egotistic if I said it wasn't, especially after looking at our stuff. Uh, I think it all goes together. I mean, the branding, you know, these decals work awesome. Uh, when we're out, you know, people yeah. see this, they, they know we're, we're probably, we're, we're, you know, none of my, none of our clients here and uh, none of our customers in Spokane are going to see this, right? We're probably no, no. <laughs> two and a half times higher than all the other competition. Yeah. Here, here, here's how we justify it. I mean, when we pull up, this is, this is what we're pulling up in. Yeah. Uh, our, 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 our employees are all uniformed. Um, you know, if they ever, uh, once we, we're going to plaster this all over our Facebook page. No, I think branding is a very, very important part of, part of business. 
Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I think that that's uh, another thing that people uh, sometimes tend to skimp on a little bit and uh, comes to bite them in the butt if they don't do it kind of right, right out of the gate. Right. Right. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. So, okay, man. So trucks, got the three trucks here the front. We'll get to that. Here's our break room. You saw Edward's office. This is our uh, Jackie's office. She's our HR and break room. Again, this is all brand new, so there's still a lot of. You know, there'll, yeah. there'll be a fridge and a table down at the end here, and we're done. Shop bathroom. Nice. We got this. These chairs. We got all this expensive furniture from this. Uh, local company that does the executive style furniture yeah and they had they'd actually they called me for seo and i, <laughs> I said well hey we're, we're actually looking for furniture so it was pretty cool we got like twelve thousand dollars worth of uh trade out nice. for, yeah for yeah. their showroom furniture which was on sale which wasn't as much as the brand new and yeah so anyway these chairs believe it or not yeah those aren't the expensive ones the ones in here those chairs are like six hundred dollar chairs that we got for dirt cheap. Wow, dirt, crazy cheap. So this is going to be. So this is our front door. This is where Andre for painting the glass or main one of our second, not our office manager, but uh, the assistant. He'll be sitting here. He's a big guy. You'll see him at the at the convention as well. And so just kind of walking through another bathroom and a shower back there. And then Angela, our GM of painting the glass, is going to be in here. You can see how the furniture is kind of all torn apart. We'll yeah. follow it on in as we as we go. Let's go. Uh, so this is that. That's the downstairs. Let me just run the upstairs. I know how much time do we have, Josh? Definitely, we still got time. We got time. <laughs> So now one of my episodes that we did was uh, the way I almost destroyed my business. And it was from me getting a building too soon. When I thought I didn't go through all of the, uh, you know, you don't realize you need dumpsters and uh, another internet if you're working from home and moving out. You know, you need phone lines. You need, like you have all this office chairs, a $600 chair. Like there's so many things that go into this that you almost forget that is going to be neat. Right. Yeah. I think an advantage that I have over, you know, say I did this, tried to do it five years ago is I have a great team with me. You know, my, my part, my partner in the marketing, smartest guy I know, you'll, you'll meet him at the, at the convention. Um, he's taking care of a lot of that stuff. The IT, the internet, I was like, dude, it's your area. And he's okay. I got it. He's, he's a nice, he, he's a, he's a baller. Rock star. Yeah. So anyway, here's our, our office. Um, again, it's fairly, uh, nothing, nothing here really. We're going to, we're going to, uh, replace these little mini setups that we have. And then, uh, you walk out at a sink and, and the space, a couple, couple bathrooms, one bathroom, smaller bathroom. Nice. This will be, uh, I'm not sure what this is going to be. I guess it's going to be a place you got room for two two people. So probably the cell, cells, which we haven't yeah. really gone after uh, yet. Uh, I do I do most of the cells. So, um, but uh, plenty of room, man. We have plenty of room to grow into. Nice. Here's another space. So we got the stairs down to the break room, and then this is the bigger. This is where we're going to put partitions. Uh, there'll be eight people in here crazy conference table that I don't know what we're supposed to put in the middle of that, but <laughs> part, part of the furniture that we got. So yeah, that's pretty much, uh, nice. oh, oh, the best, the best thing here, here's where I either I come out here and yell at people or I throw candy. We haven't figured out which one, but <laughs> so off of the cells office, you got this door. We made this on purpose. This was another John Verlk's idea. <laughs> When we went visiting him, he's got this that cool inside water fed pole training. Have you seen the yeah. setup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we wanted something like this. So here's what we had done: this little catwalk. When you come out, see this? Oh wow! So you can see it from down below. It kind of stuck out. Yeah. But uh, this area here, we're gonna put, we're gonna install different types of windows. Nice. And install install a gutter, probably some sort of gutter system to catch the water. 
and we'll be able to do all of our water fed full training from up here. Testing, yeah. And then leave enough room for me to come out here and yell, yell at people. That's what I, I don't yell yes. at people. Everybody, everybody loves working for me, so <laughs> I'm not a. I'm not well, a that's guy. awesome. That's awesome. That that you know, putting everything in like that is just like I said. As far as facility goes, this is a brand new facility that you built. It has got to be one of the nicest in the entire industry for just buildings, locations. I mean, you have mountain views out of your window. Like, nobody else has that. You know, it's, it's, it's very, very awesome. Thanks, dude. Yeah, yeah. we're excited to, excited to get it all dialed in. Nice. Well, another thing that I wanted to kind of touch on with that being seen is, is that if you could say one thing for somebody to stick, stick their money in, now we're talking about being seen on the road with graphics, being seen online with an internet presence, with marketing, with phone books even. Heck, what would you say would be the best dollar to spend to be seen um, to get your name out there? Like best bang for the buck, what would it be? So that, yeah, that's, that's tricky. You know, it comes, oh, there's different variables here. You know, if, if you're new in business, it's hard for me to try to convince you to spend money with SEO or, you know, any of the internet, the, the digital marketing that we do, it's almost as though if you're going to go in, if you're going to go with the SEO, you kind of need to, to start some ad words. You need to do something that's going to be, that's going to get you leads right away. You know, yeah. SEO is going to take time. And so the 12 months, sometimes it takes 12 months, you know, we got a, a, a big area. Uh, it may take 12 months before the SEO works. So, if you're new in business and you don't have a, a marketing budget, that, that, that wouldn't be fair of me. Uh, I, I would gain a bad reputation pretty fast, uh, encouraging people to do that. So yeah. kind of a loaded question, Josh. I would say if you have the budget, by all means, do, do SEO, AdWords, do, do everything you can do. Test, test it. You know, SEO and AdWords, you don't need to test. They're gonna, it's going to work. That's, yeah. that's the, the internet is, is the new the new yellow pages and it has been for a long time. Yeah. But, uh, but there's still a lot of other advertising, you know, ADDM, uh, you know, of course you got to get your, your vehicles decal. Um, you know, there's a lot of other marketing. I would say test, test it out and, and find what works and, you know, uh, go from there. Yeah. Your whole image is a ball. Your whole company is a ball and there's so many sides to it. Everything from, like you said, from having the same decal on your letterhead to envelopes to name tags to all of that, which you think are such little things, contribute to that ball. It contributes to that whole thing. It's very hard for some of the newer guys who have, man, I got, I got $500 to my name. What can I do with it? You can't do the whole ball, but you have to find the different things that will start that whole process. And that's the hard part with a lot of these guys that are new, as much information is out there, there's still no money fairy. There's still, right. you're trying to find the best bang for the buck, but it doesn't work that way. It's not every single area is different where what bang for the buck and what you can do and what you can, you got to build an ATM, but your whole company is an ATM. So you can't focus only on one side and not have the other side go. Like I was saying, when you're walking through trucks are identical, like that's your branding your building, having people show up, your call center where people can do sales, like everything is going to be laid out there so that ball is all your image. That's how you're seen is that entire ball of a company. So it's yeah, very, it's very tough, tough one, man. Some of these startups, I don't know if you saw the thread the other day, but somebody was asking what they do. They don't have a budget, but they yeah. want to advertise. And it's like, you know what? There's, I know that sounds funny, but, uh, man, get out there and knock on doors. You know, that I, I knocked on doors for two, two to two to three years. You know, yeah. that's how we built, we built our little storefront route that we have now, you know, we're just knocking on doors, but uh, yeah, there's, if you want it bad enough, you'll, you'll get it. And our, our industry, the window cleaning, press washing, you know, where else can you go make 60, 70, 80 an hour doing what we do? You know, yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's hustles free. You either have it or you don't, or you make it. Like hustling is free. You either have money or time. If you have time, you can do everything you have if you still have the hustle. Like that's what people go out there and do. A lot of these guys you're talking about, the younger guys who you see their companies just going, just growing, just huge numbers, 100% growth every year. It's those guys have hustles. You, you can't beat that. You know, with hustle comes finances. With finances come, you know, ease of that. But hustle yeah. still is free. Yes, sir. 
I agree. Agree a hundred percent with you. Well, sweet man. Well, I appreciate it. If somebody wants to get a hold of you and I'm telling you right now, the absolute best SEO in our entire industry is right here. Tell us a number that they can call an email website, whatever, so they can check you out. Sure. So a lot of people just reach out on Facebook, but if you, uh, if you want a number to call 509-808-0787, or you can just, uh, if you do a search for uh, SEO for pressure washing companies or SEO for window cleaning or window cleaners, uh, you'll see us, uh, you'll find our number there too. We rank first for that, that as well. Nice. I'm telling you, check them out. We're going to be at the convention. Hopefully by the time you're watching this, you're watching this from the hotel because you're already at the convention. If you didn't go to the convention this year, you missed out. I'm telling you, go next year. Don't care where it is. Get your tickets now. Book your hotel now. Do all that now so that it's set in stone so you can see, you know, just you're building that ball of awesomeness. And the convention, the networking is just, it's, it's, it's worth it, Penny. It's worth its weight in gold, basically. 100% agree with you, Josh. Nice. Well, if you guys want to buy any supplies, please do let me know. I'd love to be your rep. Um, my number again is 862-312-2026. That is my cell. So call me, text me, whatever. Um, and uh, this week's code for 5% off is MONK. M-O-N-K. So right. if you want your discount, please do let me know. You'll get 5% off and your free shipping. So let me know. Shoot me a text, whatever. Hopefully, I'm meeting you at the convention as we speak. Hopefully, I have not lost my voice yet. And uh, hopefully, you're going to go if you haven't yet, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're listening to this on the podcast, go to YouTube, search the video. That's where you're going to see the tour. That's where you're going to see the whole video. Comment down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, really do appreciate everybody out there who is continually checking us out and watching. So thank you very much. And until next week, go out there and be epic.